you guys what this wig came to me looking like it's very spotty the consistency of the hair being dyed or bleach it's just it's basically terrible so I'm just showing you guys what it looks like And it's too much black that's the, uh, not bleached. And that cut right there where the black stop is like terrible. So, the back. I hope you guys can see that. So I just wanted to come on here to show you guys what it looked like on my head. And we're gonna try to do some type of transformation with this hair. Um, yeah, so once again, this wig was given to me, and let's see what we can do. This needs to be plucked really, really badly. It's really thick, so I'm going to have to pluck these edges. It's really thick. The lace is thick, so let's see what we can do with this hair. All right. Hey you guys, so I am back just to show you guys what the wig looked like off of my head. I want you guys to see the inconsistency of this hair. The dye is just like terrible. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back in and bleach this with the black spots. The sides of the wig is really thick. You see they're missing this whole part. I feel like it's too much dark hair. Like this needs to be bleached. This needs to be bleached. I just want the roots to be black, but not this whole big part. So I'm probably gonna be bleaching like this much more. And I wanna keep like this. Even though like this is all messed up, I'm not gonna worry about it because you can't really see that. I put that part in a ponytail. So then this is the part when I showed you guys earlier where I was like, they had like these long pieces of dark hair. So I'm gonna have to go back in from down here to up here to bleach this black part out into up here. So I got some 20 developer. This doesn't, um, this 20 developer does not bleach really fast, so that's a plus. I also have, this is the bleach that I'm gonna be using. I have three packs, but I think I'm only gonna need two because I'm only doing the black parts. I have my gloves. So the color I'm gonna be using is medium blonde in the shade seven in. This is permanent hair dye. So they didn't have all of the colors that I needed. I got three boxes for the whole entire wig. So I have two seven ends here. And then I have this here is a eight in. And this is a light blonde. So I'm gonna mix them all together, but it should be okay because this medium blonde should overpower this light blonde. I'm using three packages. Every package need two ounces of 20 or 30 developer. I am using 20. So on my measuring cup, when I look on the inside, it has two, four, six ounces. So that means that I'm gonna fill this all the way up with developer and mix all three packages together. Do that. So once I get the measurements, I'm gonna pour it into a regular bowl. I don't have anything else and this is actually too small. So I'm going to go into a bigger bowl 
and mix everything once I get the ounces correct. To mix everything together. I do have my towel because I am not playing when it comes to, you know, having to take the hair down and part it. I do not want no bleach to get nowhere but where I actually want it to go. This mix looks pretty good. It's no dripping. That's great about this formula of bleach. No drip. I don't have any foil. I don't have anything as far as to separate the hair. But honey, I got these sandwich bags and we gonna make it do what it do, baby. Combing everything now. So I'm making a part. So I'm doing two tracks on each go when it comes to bleaching. I have my towel here. So each time I go in to part another row or every two tracks, I'm going to wipe my hands on the towel. So do that make sense? Every time I go in to part every two tracks, I'm going to dry my hands off on the towel. Okay? All right. Then the bottom. Actually, the bottom doesn't need that much. Just mostly the... Um, the top but what I need this to do is to be like a paste for the plastic bag and then I can go back in and I'm kind of brushing it a little down on the bleach so it can like help blend in just a bit okay And if you get some some bleach on some strings, just hurry up and wipe it off. Like it's no big deal. This side, it doesn't need, this little part here, it doesn't need it. So I'm only going to do the parts that actually need to be bleached. So now I'm going into the frontal. And I'm actually going to try to play it off with bringing some more streaks 
in the front of the hair. I'm gonna try to like play it off with disguising the hair. I part this part here all the way around the head. I'm going to part the hair down the middle and do the bleaching and continue with the bleaching then. So I part the hair down the middle and then I'm going to go up to bleach. looks really nice so I am definitely about to wash this out I'm just waiting a little longer for this side to come together but um, yeah it looks nice I'm liking the way it's lifting oh yeah it's totally wear ready show a little baddie <laughs> yeah it's ready So I'm gonna do the method with the blow dryer on this side to kind of like process it faster. It's actually ready to go. So yeah, I'm about to blow dry this part. I'll be back, I'm about to get my blow dryer. Yeah, so it's looking like something. I'm loving the roots. So I'm gonna blow dry it because I'm just anxious to like know what it looks like. So this is the final look with the bleaching part of the hair. So it's blow dried. This is what the backs look like. Front, the top. Let's just go right in and dye the actual hair. All right, layering these colors. So, once again, these are permanent hair dyes. I have two medium blonde, and then I have one light blonde so i'm just going to mix them all together hopefully this medium blonde will overpower this blonde that's what i was hoping because they didn't have any more of this here this is the color that i wanted i wanted it to be the light blonde but they only had two mediums two medium blondes and one light blonde so hopefully this brown i have to go for i have to deal with this because it's more of this product and hopefully it will overpower the light blonde so it can just be more product that I can use on the hair. So I hope that makes sense. Got the liquid dye. So if anybody is wondering why it looks so watery, it's because I got the liquid dye, not the cream. I am just drenching this hair. I don't care what the heck it looks like. I'm just twisting this area right here.
All right, so everything is drenched. I'm liking the way things are looking. So I set the timer for 45 minutes and hopefully everything comes out. This is the rest that I have but um, of the dye, but I'm just gonna grab that and just put it at the ends. This is how the hair is going to be. I'm going to go watch a TV show or something. All right, you guys. Bye. Temporarily. Bye. I'm here real quick. Show you guys the hair. Oh, my God. That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hey, you guys. So, I am back. I washed the hair. I washed it. And the shampoo and conditioner I use was this here. So this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner. And I put the conditioner in after I shampooed it and left it in for like um, about 15 minutes. So, and this is the end result. So I also use that um, shampoo because it also tones the hair so i like that it gave like this ashy kind of like brown kind of so i'm absolutely loving this color um yeah i love it i absolutely love it so i am not going to blow dry this hair i am actually going to Again, I'm going to get some more oil. Grab the curl. Get a piece. Pull it. Let it glide in my hand. So if you guys are wondering, I'm separating the hair and letting that one curl glide in my hand. The final look of the hair. I hope you guys like it. I love how... It kind of goes in and out of the blonde streaks and the browns. It has a nice shine to it, a nice glow. I really love this hair. I love the way it turned out. So stay tuned for part two where I'm going to be customizing and plucking my hairlines and also... Um, applying the wig on my head so thank you so much for watching this video this is the end result of me dyeing my hair thank you so much peace love and happiness to you darling yes bye so i wanted to come on here and show you guys this is the serum that i normally use for my hair but you guys can see that i didn't have any i ran out i did not realize how low i was on this item 
or this product and I use this one too by Revlon. I'm gonna show a clip somewhere. I also use that, but I haven't got the opportunity to buy some more of that. So this is what I was using and I was low on it. So I'm thinking of the serum and basically it gives you that nice slickness to your hair where your curls is not frizzy when you comb them out. I don't like that frizz, that poofiness that be at the end of the curls. So this and also the one that I showed you prevent that from happening. But I didn't have this and I didn't have the one that I just showed you guys. But I had this baby. So you got to make it do what you got to do. I'm the type of person that know how to make things, make a way out of no way, survival type of whatever. That's just how I am. Um, so I used this and it literally made a difference. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, is this a dupe for this product here? Now, if I can use this in my hair and also my skin, that's a win-win where I can, I will not have to buy this or the other product anymore. I believe this item, I'm going to have the prices of them, but this is the cheapest. And if I can find a cheaper way to do my hair then hello 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 okay so yeah this is amazing if this is a dupe so i am going to do part two wear this hair out and if it give me the same feel of this product or the product that i showed you prior honey i'm gonna have to switch over i'm gonna have to switch over so we're gonna see if this is a dupe okay so this is going to be a part of my thumbnail as well all right toodles Peace, love, and happiness. Bye. <laughs>